Hello. So this is the first uh, Rails gem uh, that I'm exploring, which is device. Uh, I have covered that in almost all my Rails related series, uh, but I still want to create a separate video for this because there are a lot of future videos which depend upon this, like uh, GitHub authentication, Gmail authentication, Facebook authentication, and a lot more other things. And that's why device is something which acts as a base. So yeah. Uh, so what I've done is I've just ran this command uh, raise new device demo dash t dash d equals to postgres square. I'm not going to explain you all these things. My other series have I've explained you all these things already. Okay, so I've just done that. Nothing else. And based on that, uh, this project has uh, started. I've got the got all the files and everything. So let me start this raise server. Mostly I'll get some error. Okay device demo clear i have to create the database rails db create clear rails server local host 3000 and we can see it is working great now let me just start integrating the device you can go through my other web uh, video series like airbnb clone or uh, uh, notes application in those cases also I have used device. So device from heart combo. Uh, you can visit this GitHub and you will find all the details. So let's start integrating that. Just to be clear, gems are basically libraries in Rails, nothing else in Ruby basically. So starting with Rails, great bundle add device. So let's add this. I'll stop this clear bundle add device. After that, Rails generate install. Uh, okay, so this will just add the device to our project. Now we will have to install the device. Okay, so for that, let's use this. And okay, uh, I should mention this clearly that device, we use device for authentication purposes. Okay, like sign up, sign in, login, register, those kind of things, right? And forward password and other things also. So let's follow these steps. I'm sure you have defined URL did this in development okay so let's copy this go to development so config environments development and paste it here so that's one second we should have a root home index so let's create that app nope not app config routes Let's create this at the same time. Go to app views, create a folder on views called home, and inside that, create a file called index. And I'll also create a controller home controller.rb class home controller application controller great and we need index here great hello world something simple and now let's restart the server okay let's see the third step ensure you have these flash messages okay even if we don't have it let's copy this i'm not sure if we have it or not go to application.html file and let's paste it here and what's next generate views we'll generate that we'll generate that i'll just copy this so that later on i can just use it and refresh and we can see hello world here great so i'll generate the views also now rails generate device views okay what it will do is it will create a lot of pages for us app views you can see all the views related files have been created and the advantage of that is rails server now i can visit various pages slash login earlier without that i would have not been able to do that okay i think it's something else um, rails routes Using routes, I can see details. So do we have it? No, we don't have it yet. So I think I'll have to generate a model. Okay. 
it was not working because the steps were not fully finished let's stop this generate a model so for what type of model we want this sign up and login to work so the basic case is user and sometimes the add-on case is admin so i'll create a model called user that's it rails generate device and we have these models great let's do the migration rails db migrate clear now let's start the server once it starts working then i'll explain you what all things are happening users slash signing and you can see this page is appearing right so now i'll explain you what all the these steps have us in so first of all we can see this device folder in which we can see various files so if we go to session this is our login page okay uh, for example i can write rajat and you'll see rajat here so this is our login page similar to that we have sign up pages edit new are related to sign up pages password related things in passwords forgot password and everything confirmation related things uh, all the shared related error messages and buttons and all those things comes in here so when we wrote rails generate uh, device views all these views got generated so basically the power of those views is that now we can edit it we can manipulate them so that's the advantage second thing that we did was rails generate device model okay and the model name was user so the advantage of that is now we have a user model okay and if we go to our database you can see this model a schema users we have email password is encrypted that's because of rails automatically uh, sorry not not because of rails because of uh, device that we have used okay then remember password reset password all those things automatically will get managed via device okay so this is the basic setup now let's do sign up but for sign up let me show you one thing rails console user dot all we have empty array which means there are no users currently so let's sign up test one at the rate gmail dot com one two three four five six one two three four five six sign up and we were able to sign up successfully and now if we reload this and run this again we can see one user with test one this this is we can also try to sign in slash user slash sign in okay because we have signed up now we cannot sign in sign out uh, we cannot sign in so we will have to implement some sign sign out logic right so for that what we'll do is we'll go to home page because generally on home page we can see a logout button or something like that right so we'll go to home index and what i'll do is if user is signed in this is embedded ruby code if user is signed in uh what should i do if user is signed in i should show a button right but for that i'll use link link in rails similar to a tag in html we have links in rails so let's use this no not this one something better yeah this one and the text will be log out now we just need to find the correct path that we have to call when we are clicking on log, uh, this sign out button right i think we, i'll have to use button 2 because we are using a delete action we will have to use button 2 You'll see that no worries, but we can see logout button is here, right? So device. Let me open another tab. Rails routes dash c users. Okay, user. Nothing. No worries. Device. And this is sign out. Delete and the path is destroy user session. So we'll have to use destroy user session underscore path okay and let me write this to get the correct code from internet 
button rails so it will give us we will have to use method delete basically nothing else data method delete this should work yeah button 2 and inside button 2 logout is there destroy user path is there then finally method delete method delete save our server is running and we'll see the api call happening refresh and logout and we were able to sign out successfully and the response of that started from here we refreshed and that's why it is started getting slash because we refreshed so this is the response of the refresh page uh, you can see that it showed home index and all those things now when we clicked on the button this api call happened delete user slash sign out which is equivalent to delete this path user slash sign out okay and processing the parameters it went to this sessions controller which is a device controller uh, we don't have that generated file yet we don't have that in our controllers but if we want we can generate them i'll show it to you right now and maybe actually i won't show it to you i'll just show you the command you can do it on your own this one rails generate device controllers and again user here uh, not not user actually scope scope meaning you can mention whether for sessions whether for registrations those kind of things okay so sessions controller right you can see this so exactly sessions controller was called and inside that it checked whether the user already exists or not all those kind of things and based on that it mentioned okay this user has signed out and if it has signed out we want to show the home page again so went to home page that's it so now you can understand how it works you can go in much more depth on this documentation i'm i'm just going through the overview part uh, because it depends upon case case on case basis what all things you want to cover up but this is the basic idea and we'll be using this particular base video in a lot of other uh, future videos also okay so i would recommend you that you should be clear about device that's all for now thank you bye, -bye.